Okay, so we've got a lot to cover, and I'm losing my voice, so let's bear with me and start with how my day went today. As most of you know, I had to get up early to go to the body shop pick up the SUV. I was very impressed at the SUV before me. They did a lot of work on it, spent a lot of time and effort. It was very evident. And... Uh, of course, I gave him the check that the insurance company had mailed to me from his insurance company. And um, they answered a lot of my questions concerning the SUV. And um, I told them about how much I had faith in their establishment because we were in a previous accident um, a few years ago. And it was with a 2012 uh, Ford at the time. And it was ran into the post of the uh, uh, handicap area at Walmart by a lady who was drunk and disorderly. And um, they did that work. Didn't have that car for too long before I traded it off. Um, went and got a Malibu and then before the, uh, before the SUV. Then got the SUV. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, so bear with me. Brought it home went around. At that time, I wasn't really appreciative, and I apologize of all the hard work, because I was still on the fence going, okay, it's still got to go back to the shop. It's still got to get breaks. It's, you know, I'm looking at all the negatives, not realizing the positives and the blessing that they had done all this hard work and labor. So for that, I do apologize, because at that time, I didn't take, I took it for granted, and I shouldn't have. Um, Throughout the day, I was on the phone at lunchtime with my mom, and Grandpa had heard me say that I was really leaning towards trading at that time. And he goes, you've got a birthday coming up. What would it take for you not to want to trade that car? And he pointed toward the SUV. And he says, keep it and, and just be happy with what you have. And I could tell that he was really attached to the SUV. I think a lot of memories in that car. Um, but there's always memories attached with every car. But this one is more special because we had Mike, we had Grandma, we had just various family members set in that car. And I think that, that really brings it home for him because family is everything to him. So I said, well, jokingly, um, pay for the brakes because it's going to have to take two trips back to the body shop and he said you know what no if that's what's keeping you on the fence of wanting to trade I will pay for the brakes so that's how that conversation happened um, I'm very grateful very blessed for that and you know they say everything happens for a reason I highly believe in that I may not trade this year or next, but who's to say in the future that that would not be an option, but soon it's about to be all the way paid off too. So I can't really complain on that. And it doesn't even have 50,000 miles, 43 to be exact. And even the guy, when he went to go pick it up today, he says, you've got a jewel here. He goes, appreciate it for what it is. We, like, we shared a lot of words and a lot of words of wisdom today. So, I think that's why I'm so bothered and so emotional, if you will. But uh, I did finish reading this book, Don't Touch My Petunias. I wanted to start a book review because look at how many pages you really brought home to me this book. And yes, there's a little bit of fantasy in it, but there's a lot of romance too. So, there's always a good balance in a good book of a little bit of daydream and a little bit of reality. And if you can get that reality to balance out, what an amazing book. She's a great author. This is the second book I've read. I am working on the third book called Don't Give Me Butterflies. Let me tell you, you don't want to miss out from any book that Tara Sheets has written. It's that good. I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know if it's because I got up extremely early, worked all day today, plus picked up my SUV. Uh, but the car is scheduled to go back to not this body shop, but my auto body, where they go in and they work on the inside details of the car, uh, Monday. 
and it will spend Monday night to Tuesday day uh, at the auto body shop to be worked on it when their spare time and I've got to call on Monday now and tell them hey don't just do one do both sets um, I want them to check them out I want them to replace what's necessary that'll make me feel comfortable now in that car but also I've got to learn how to be comfortable in my own car again to some of you that may not make any sense but when you're in an accident and you can clearly see at the last second and you're trying to avoid this this truck it, trust me it would make sense to you um, I'm still bothered by it bothered by a lot of things anyway thank you for watching God bless love you all stay safe stay well and I hope to see you tomorrow